Right then, so Martin, um, arguably one of your toughest games so far this season. Um, Southport in the league above you, what do you know about them? Um, just that they're in the same sort of situation as we are. Um, set up at the beginning of the season, train once a week. A lot of young lads focusing on development rather than results. Um, but they're getting goals in amongst them and it, yeah, as you say, it's going to be a stern test for us today. We have to be on our game. OK, on the back of uh, all the lads playing in the first team in the Czech Senior Cup, do you reckon that boasts a lot of experience and a bit of know-how in going into this game now? Yeah, it gives the lads experience, but I think it's also been a bit detrimental in a way. Um, a few have taken the foot off the gas in the last couple of weeks and uh, I think that was definitely seen on Sunday. Um, Arrogance kicked in second half, which is not acceptable really. So they need to be on, on the game for nine minutes today because they'll, they'll be in a tough fixture. OK, um, have you got any injuries or anybody missing today? We've still got Lewis missing um, from the FDA game. He's, he's chipped a bone on his ankle, so he's struggling with that. Peter Arnold's still struggling with a hamstring injury. And Harrison's been really unwell with the virus the last few weeks, so yeah, we're missing a few players. Okay, so how are you setting up today in the team? What's the team like? Um, we're going to set up in a 3 3 3 um, as we have done the last few weeks, looking to hopefully exploit the central areas because it's a very narrow pitch. But we're going to be in for a test, the, the boys are going to have to adapt uh, and, and try and play the way that we play. All right, wonderful. Well, thank you very much, Martin. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Come on, 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 come on,
The Martin, um, a disappointing result in the end. Um, a valiant effort, but maybe you didn't have enough in the tank at the end. They were very clinical. Um, wanted it more, battled in the 1v1s more, and we just didn't play how we normally do. So I think some of these now need to get the feet on the ground and stop putting some work in. Okay, is there anything you can pick out for why you didn't play as well as you usually do? Egos, I think, at the minute. People thinking they're better than the team. Um, they need to get rid of that pretty sharpish. Uh, and understand that it's a team game and they need to work for each other. That wasn't evident today. Yeah, um, like you said, they were clinical. Um, the chances that you did create, you didn't take. Uh, but the goal was quite well worked in the corner and the run from the back post. So it shows you can do it. I'm glad we've actually won an Eddie. <laughs> it's taken probably 70 minutes for us to win an Eddie. Um, individual errors again, and just not not doing what what they're asked. Um, no, I'm not, not impressed at that at all. Another heavy defeat and. Not impressed at all. Yeah, uh, I know you won't want to talk about it, but the third goal, uh, the Mr. Mr. Uh, mess up between the keeper and uh, Nathan. Um, do you know what went on? I don't think anybody can answer that. Only those two. Um, clear your lines. Ultimately, um, you can contest it, say that it was offside, but it shouldn't have happened in the first place. We've had chances to clear it and we've not. So we're we're in the ascendancy then, just getting back into the game, and it's killed us. Absolutely killed us off. Okay. Um, finally, who's your man of the match if you have one? I, I don't think I've got one, mate. Oh, OK. Thank you very much, Martin. Cheers, Josh. Thank you for...